we are given the graph of a quadratic function, which is called a parabola, shown here on the right. We are asked to determine the key characteristics from the graph, and then also write an equation for the parabola in factored form. We are first asked to find the ordered pair for the vertex. Because the parabola opens up, the vertex is the lowest point on the graph, which is this point here. If the parabola opens down, the vertex will be the highest point on the graph. The ordered pair for the vertex is negative one comma negative nine. Next, we're asked to determine the equation of the axis of symmetry, which is the vertical line that passes through the vertex, which is this vertical line. We say the parabola is symmetrical across this line. Notice how if we were to fold the parabola across this line, the two halves match up perfectly. Notice every point on this line has an x-coordinate of negative one, including the vertex, which is why the equation of this vertical line is x equals negative one. Next, we're asked to determine the vertical intercept, which is the point where the graph intersects the vertical axis, which is this point. The ordered pair for the vertical or y-intercept is zero comma negative eight. Next, we're asked to determine the horizontal intercepts, or x-intercepts. Notice the graph intersects the horizontal axis in two points. This is one horizontal intercept, which is negative four comma zero. And this is the second horizontal intercept, which is two comma zero. Now we're asked to write an equation for the parabola in factored form, which will be the form y equals a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, where r sub one and r sub two are the roots or zeros of the function. We can identify the zeros of the function by identifying the horizontal intercepts or x-intercepts, which we've already done. The order pair negative four comma zero indicates that when x is negative four, the y value or function value is zero, and therefore negative four is a zero or root of the function. And the order pair two comma zero indicates when x is two, the y value or function value is zero, and therefore two is also a root or zero. So to help us build the equation, let's write down that r sub one is equal to negative four, and r sub two is equal to positive two. And now we'll build the equation in this form. We have y equals a times the quantity x minus r sub one is x minus negative four, which simplifies to x plus four. And then we have times the quantity x minus r sub two, which is the quantity x minus two. And now to finish the equation, we need to find the value of a by selecting one point on the graph, except the horizontal intercepts, and perform substitution for x and y. Let's use the vertical intercept of zero comma negative eight. So we substitute zero for x and negative eight for y. Performing the substitution gives us negative eight equals a times the quantity zero plus four times the quantity zero minus two, which gives us negative eight equals a times four times negative two which gives us negative eight equals negative eight a. So if we know that negative eight equals negative eight a, to solve for a, we divide both sides by negative eight. Simplifying, we have a equals one. So now we substitute one for a, which will give us the equation for the parabola. So if a is one here, we can leave it off, and our final equation is just y equals the quantity x plus four times the quantity x minus two. I hope you found this helpful.